Bend County is a pretty large county geographically. Um, we have uh, 30 townships, 200 miles of county roads, and about 1,600 miles of township roads. Even though we're primarily an agricultural community, we have Champaign-Urbana, um, which is home to the University of Illinois. So we're, we're in the neighborhood of 600 total bridges that we oversee, maintain, inspect uh, within Champaign County. So that's a pretty big bridge system. On the county system, we almost are exclusively selecting steel because we feel that that gives us our best life and it's gonna give us our best um, fight against the almighty salt that we dump on the bridges all winter long. Obviously steel is recyclable, so we like the idea of that because uh, if we tear down a steel bridge, it's gonna go back and get recycled back into some steel that maybe somebody else is gonna put on one of their bridges. The Short Span Steel Bridge Alliance has a really good relationship with the National Association of County Engineers. Um, and uh, at one of our uh, National Association of County Engineers meetings, I believe it was in Wichita, Kansas, uh, about two and a half years ago, um, had conversation with some of uh, the uh, Short Span Steel Bridge Alliance folks about, you know, the idea of this press brake tub girder. This bridge fit really well into um, the design for a press brake tub girder. It's, the bridge is on a township road over a uh, one of those drainage ditches that I talked about earlier. And the back wall, which was made out of wood back when this bridge was put into place, was rot. We looked at possibly trying to just replace that back wall, but um, it was also, you know, having some issues with the deck. So we just thought better uh, go ahead and replace the bridge. We bid, I would say, uh, three or four of the precast, pre-stressed deck beam bridges in Champaign County this year. The uh, cost for the beams in place on those bridges um, came in at about $84 a square foot. Um, and the press brake tub girder price that uh, we got a proposal from Valmont for the tub girders with the precast decks on top uh, was $82 a square foot. The system is uh, what we would call our standard uh, U-beam press brake form tub girder, uh, which consists of Ashto M270 grade 50 steel, uh, which is kind of the, the standard by, uh, by Ashto, it's A709 grade 50. It's uh, made in the United States steel, so actually the steel for this project was uh, was provided by uh, SSABs of America, which is uh, the steel was produced right out of uh, right near Cedar uh, Rapids, Iowa. So once the steel plate is provided, we form the steel plate into that classic uh, uh, press brake tub girder uh, kind of trapezoidal box shape. Uh, we weld what we call our angle braces to the top flanges. Then we weld end diaphragms uh, at each end, which also serve as our bearing stiffeners above the uh, elastomeric bearing pads. So the, the bridge size was uh, 26 feet, 8 inches wide and 57 feet long, no skew. The substructure was a 12 inch metal shell piling driven into basically a silty clay. They were about 35 foot long to give us a good uh, you know, base to sit on, and then we pour a, a standard concrete abutment on top of that, um, rip wrap out in front. The individual, four individual units were 57 feet long and weighed approximately 48,000 pounds. So the nice thing about that is they were within weight limit where they could be, be hauled on a standard size truck. Um, with a standard trailer. Uh, they were brought in one at a time and then um, and then individually uh, set with, I think it was about a 250 ton crane. So literally the, uh, the press brake tub girders with the precast decks sitting on top of them were delivered to the job site and set in place in one day. So we had, uh, we had four sections that we had to set uh, they came in, it was six foot four inches on the outsides, and we had six foot sections on the insides. 
the next day uh, they they came back and did the uh, eight inch closure pour with the transpo 17 material um, so you're looking at two to three days to to set the beams and get the closure pour done is all that it took we started in june and we had it open in September. So, you know, you're talking about three months, basically, from the time you tear, from the time you put up the barricades and close off the traffic till the time we opened it back up. If I can get 75 to 100 years out of my, out of my bridges, I can maybe get a little bit ahead of the curve here in the next few years where we'll actually have enough money to, uh, replace our bridges on a consistent basis and a consistent rotation. And I'm always up for a new challenge and new ideas and trying to bring those into Champaign County. And, and hopefully this will kind of uh, be a kickoff for these type of bridges in the state of Illinois.